Hey everybody, Jake here from Bearded Gear, and it's unboxing time. Um, as is very common <laughs> for me on this channel, this is a package from River's Edge Cutlery. I want to—I always, 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 whenever I get something from them, um, I like to shout them out because they've been super supportive of my channel, like from the beginning, from when I created this channel. Um, and they've also just become buddies. I already knew of River's Edge Cutlery before I had the channel and ordered from them and all that, but I did finally just get the chance to meet the guys in person, finally, <laughs> from River's Edge Cutlery at SHOT Show um, about a week ago. And they're just great. Um, got to hang out with Mike, who's the owner of River's Edge Cutlery, his son Riley, who you guys probably have seen quite a bit on their YouTube channel, which will be linked down below if you haven't. Um, also Evan, who does their YouTube stuff, and Everett, who you'll have seen there, and Justin, who works there in the shop. Spent a lot of time at SHOT Show with these guys, and uh, it was great. It was so much fun to spend that time like in person with them these people that i've talked to so much and have ordered from constantly and um they're just really really great so link down below will be all the information for river's edge cutlery you can also catch uh, their most recent as of when i'm filming this rec report uh, which is kind of like their weekly like video where they do a couple of them sitting there talking about multiple topics and stuff just really fun video that they do weekly I'm on that from my room in Vegas while we were at SHOT Show. So we recorded an episode together and it was a lot of fun. Um, anyway, this is from River's Edge Cutlery. They're the best. Enough said. Um, so a new Spyderco has just come out and uh, I got real lucky. There were uh, the way that Spyderco does a lot of these uh, releases when they come out with a new model for their dealer network, they'll send them. Um, like just a handful at first since they've got production kind of ready they shoot out a few to each dealer and then that dealer will have a couple to check out and do their like pictures for their site and they, they can sell those units of course um and then after they get those first few i think it's like five ish then the bulk of the shipment comes after that usually within a couple of weeks of when those first few arrive so um this is the stove pipe which i was not crazy interested in until I actually handled it at SHOT Show. Then I got way more interested in it. Um, and yeah, this is from those first couple units that they got at REC. There will be more coming. So if you're watching this and you're like, oh, it's already sold out. Like, yes, for the moment, that's true. But I just cut the tape in a weird spot that I didn't need to. Um, anyway, this is the stovepipe. I'm stoked to check it out. I even, uh, I talk about this like every time, but I think... I can't think of the last time I ordered from Rick that I didn't do this. They've been doing it for a while. They offer an option to upgrade to FedEx two-day shipping for like $7.95 or something. It's like $8. Um, and it's so much faster than <laughs> USPS, like the free shipping is. Um, and so, yeah, I, I do that every time. And this got here. Yeah, today's Monday. I ordered it Friday, I think. Friday afternoon. <laughs> um, so got here real, real quick. Got a rec card with a QR code that if you're watching this on a screen that's not your phone, I guess you could scan if you want. Probably takes you to the site. We've got a rec little microfiber. These are different than the designs on the old one. This is a new design. They look sweet. And we've got a little Oh, Evan packed my order. That's rad. A um, little just shipping thing. So um, price on this guy. Let me see what it says on here so I don't get it wrong. I think it was 420 bucks. Um, yeah, it doesn't say it on here. This is just the packing list. But pretty sure it was 420 even. Um, as retail on this guy. MSRP is like 600 or something like that. But I also get a River's Edge Cutlery avocado colored pen. Love that. I've actually got a couple of these around now. I've also been, yeah, literally, I'm like setting it down on my table next to another one. Um, I've been ordering their coffee like crazy. I need to order another bag of that. It's the only coffee I drink at home anymore. <laughs> um, they do their own roast with a local coffee roaster. It's called Rec Roast. And it's literally like me and my wife. It's all we drink at home. And she drinks her coffee black like an insane person. Shout out to Everett, who also does that at Rec. But um it's really really good so i get a lot of their pens because i order a lot of their coffee recurringly I'll, I'll need to do it 
a video just particularly on the coffee at some point. I'll show you what a basic white girl I am with how much creamer I put in there. All right, so because this is a nice Tai Chung Spider Co, comes in a pouch. Let's see, made in Taiwan, stovepipe plain. I don't know if that means there will ever be a not plain version, but it says stovepipe plain. Um, for those of you like SKU number fanatics of Spider Co's, it's C260 TIP, just the tip. All right, so yeah, you get a golden embroidered Spyderco logo on there. They used to do like a leathery finished pouch. They switched to these kind of nylon ones a little while back. Doesn't really bother me. I don't care one way or the other what pouch it comes in. Um, it does look like, maybe I'm crazy. All right, so the knife is here in bubble wrap. You get this cool sticker. So that's a crafted for life. Spyderco, Golden Colorado, USA Earth. Pretty cool Spyderco sticker. Um, it looks like they shrunk this down. So these pamphlets didn't used to fit in the pouches without like ruining the corners of them. Maybe it's, yeah, this one looks like it fits. Maybe they shrunk it down like 5% so it actually fits in the pouch now. That would be cool to see. My buddy Jason Beatty of the uh, Millie Club fame, he always poked fun at how they made paperwork that went inside the pouch that doesn't actually fit inside the pouch. Odd choice for them, but Anyway, all right, so here's the knife. Uh, for a lot of people watching this, you're probably gonna think, wow, it's smaller than I thought once I get it out of this bubble wrap. Um, I did when I first saw it. I expected it to be bigger just based on photos and then I saw it in person and I was like, oh, it's actually not that huge of a knife. So it's a fairly little guy in terms of length, but in no other way is this a little knife. It is a massive cleavery thick chunky frame lock <laughs> um so yeah i i was real concerned before handling it whether it would feel even remotely okay in my hand if you look at this handle shape you'll see there's a bunch of just angles going on right and i thought for sure like this point it's gonna mess me up turns out i put it in hand at the spider co booth at shot show and it was pretty sweet um, there's a lot of interesting stuff going on here too. I'm a Spyderco fanboy, have been for a long time, and uh, there's unique things that I haven't really seen Spyderco do before happening on this knife. So like for example this clip, which they put the little plastic protector thing under there, that's cool of them. I'm gonna slide it out so that I can not worry about it anymore, but oh geez, it's really in there. <sighs> there we go. Um, this clip is a milled titanium clip, which they do on some knives, but it's totally unique to this model. And even look at the hardware. You've got two different sizes of screws that go into it um, that feeds into the backspacer. But they just, oftentimes at Spyderco, like to have like an efficiency in their parts and efficiency in their parts, not inefficiency. <laughs> They're efficient with their parts in the sense that they oftentimes use like the same clip on a bunch of different knives. They use their spoon clip on a ton of things. They use a wire clip on a ton of things. And this is just a really a, a kind of ornate clip for a Spyderco. Um, I like to see it because even on knives like the Paysan, it's a, just a basic spoon clip and that's like a super expensive Tai Chung like frame lock, right? So the fact that they also went so far as to do the clip here. I like and I also don't like because if it was a spoon clip I could toss a deep carry clip on it, um, either a Lynch or an MXG or something, but here I can't. So I can't make this deep carry is the only bummer that it's such a unique clip, but it is what it is. We'll see how it carries with this one. So I just find, yeah, little things like that are interesting. The pivot hardware, I can't recall a Spyderco with pivot hardware like this. It's even got a pivot collar. Maybe it's a faux collar, but it's got a collar of sorts on there. That's pretty slick. Um, yeah, so some, some funky things going on. But anyway, let's see how it middle finger flicks right out of the box. Yeah, pretty slick. I like that. You get a very short but deep hollow grind on this guy. I was impressed when I held the one at shot, how thin behind the edge it was. It's kind of almost seems like if you chopped the blade, let me see. If I can get it to focus on me. If you chopped the blade like this, you'd have a pretty Yojimbo-esque blade. Um, but instead, it's got this like rhinoceros horn that comes into what's almost like a pry bar or a flathead screwdriver thing up here. I don't know what the function of that is, but it's there. Um, in my hands, I got lucky. 
this point lands right where it's kind of supposed to, I think, between those two fingers. And then my thumb goes right up here. And I actually really kind of like this knife in hand. Um, for such a shaped handle, I'm shocked how comfortable it is for me. Even the clip where it's landing inside my palm is pretty comfortable. Um, I like how close up I am on the edge. I like that my thumb tucks right into here. It just feels super usable in a way that I didn't think it was going to. I thought this was just gonna be a funky, quirky Spider Co. Like sometimes they just do funky, quirky, weird things because they have fun with it, I don't know. Um, but instead I was like, hey, that actually fits my hand, feels pretty comfortable, it's got a good grind on it. Um, and it is very funky and different. I mean, think of like the Danger Pickle. It's one of my favorite Spider Co's ever. So this, I think kind of like scratches a similar itch to that knife in the in a way that just made me feel like I needed to have one. Um, if I didn't mention already, these are done in CPM 20 CV. So I like to see that. It's very cool. Um, 20 CV isn't like exciting at this point, but it's much better than several of the steels that Spyderco uses pretty often. So I like to see on these nicer and higher end ones, I should say, that they're doing 20 CV on them out of Taichung too. Um, it's kind of cool too. The backspacer is like sunk down into the scales. There's a lot of interesting design things happening here. Um, the name of this designer is Rydbom, R-Y-D-B-O-M. That's what's listed here on that kind of maker's mark and i took a peek a little bit at some of the customs of his just on instagram and stuff he makes some pretty wild knives i don't think i've ever handled or seen one of his customs in person but um this knife fits <laughs> they did a good job at representing his designs here um obviously this is one of his designs but it, it seems very much like one of his knives even though it's spider co who's making it and it's branded as a spider co um, they've licensed it i should say so yeah, it's an interesting, funky, unique new Spider Co. So of course I had to have one. <laughs> and uh, I am thrilled that I was able to get one of the first couple from Rec and not have to wait a few weeks more until the, the big batch starts landing. Um, so thank you to those guys over there. I did pay for this knife, but um, yeah, this is pretty freaking slick. It is very cool. I like this notch here too. I thought that might be uncomfortable. It's not. It looks kind of cool that it gives it like a faux bolster type of look. It's just a totally different, new, unique thing for Spider Co. And uh, I like to see it. So anyway, it's out of the box. Appreciate it. Again, River's Edge Cutlery will be linked down below. They're awesome. I like those guys quite a bit. And uh, yeah, thanks for checking it out, guys. See you on the next one.